The Force will be with us soon as George Osborne's confirmed that the next Star Wars movie will be filmed and produced in the UK. The seventh episode of the series is being directed by Emmy Award winning J.J. Abrams. Well, earlier we spoke to Warwick Davies, who told us he's keen to get a part. It'd be really nice to be part of it again. And the fact that it's now in the UK means that I can probably just call in and, you know, try and, uh, try and get myself in one of the scenes. <laughs> is that how it works? Just knock on the door. Or you just might walk in in his old Ewok suit. Uh, Mark Newbold is the co-owner of the Star Wars fan website Jedi News and writes for the magazine Star Wars Insider. Hello, Mark. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm all right. You, could you see Warwick Davis in the new one for a start off? Would you uh, recommend him? Definitely recommend him. Yeah. He should do exactly that. He should just knock on the door and walk yeah. in. Well, if you turn up as an Ewok, it's hard to refuse, isn't it, really? It is. We did discuss with him the possibility of him playing, playing him. He wanted to play a villain. Yeah. And so we said this, he would be the Ewok that's, Ewok that's gone rogue. Yeah, why not? It's happened before. Let's face it. You can, if you, after Jar Jar Binks, you could put anything in Star Wars and people would accept it. Uh, how excited are you, Mark, that it's going to be filmed here in the UK? Very excited. It, it's great news. And it's Star Wars coming home because, I mean, you know, the original three movies filmed here in, in large part. So did uh, Phantom Menace, filmed at Leavesden. Uh, and even the other two had pickups and, and reshoots and such filmed here. So yeah. they've, all, they've all had an element of, of, of being filmed here. Now, um, yeah, it's, it's very good news. The elephant in the room here... Yes. Which will probably be a scene in the new movie, to be fair. But the <laughs> elephant in the room here is that some of the films, some of the later ones have been rubbish, haven't they? No. Well, no. they haven't been, right, all right. You or can't re- say that I'll to rephrase a man that in a case, stand, he, in case, he, in case he comes at me with his lightsaber. Uh, they've not been as good as the earlier three, have they? They've been Let's different be to the earlier three. Different. Yeah. You know, those original three films, it, it's, it's anything new feels fresh and unique, doesn't it? You know, when yeah. you go back and, and redo or, or, or follow up things, you know, it, the, the, the element of surprise is gone. So filmmaking techniques have changed. The style that Lucas wanted to make them in had changed. Yeah, it, it, yeah, there's no doubt that people weren't as enamoured with the prequels as they were with the originals, but... Um, they were just very different kind of yeah. beasts, and they yeah. all did fantastically well. There are a few posters knocking about, aren't there, for the new movie? Have you have you been able to decipher them? Do you have you any clue where we're going to go with this latest one? Haven't got a clue whatsoever. I mean, there's a lot of subject uh, of conjecture, rather. You know, people sort of guessing that you know maybe Luke's going to become the bad guy, maybe the Empire's not going to be the, the evil Empire, and things are going to tweak around and change. But really, nobody knows. You know, they're still deep in in production on the film and, and on the script. Even you know, they're nowhere near getting that finished. Yeah, we hear that Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher might be involved. Um, Mark Hamill turned up at a screening of Return of the Jedi last weekend and all but confirmed that he was going to be in it and that Carrie was going to be in it, but it was a bit more cagey about Harrison, but uh, fingers crossed. It'd be well, great if to they are going to be in it, bearing in mind it was 1977, the first one, it's a fair bet to say it's, life's going to have moved on a bit for them all. Yeah, I mean, nobody knows for certain, but in, out here in fandom, which is always choppy and, and changing all the time anyway, but people seem to think it's going to be sort of 30, 40 years on, so it'll kind of be like a next generation. It'll be the next generation of heroes, essentially. All right. Well, we look forward to it, Mark. Good to talk to you. Pleasure.